Good afternoon, everyone. We're about to get started with some Saturday NBA action brought to you by 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burt, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. And here we can check out the story for Jokic. And he's gone dry. Oh, and nothing tips. Kevin, thank you. Now, Nikola Jokic. <laughs> he is definitely letting the play develop, DA. Thank you. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening here we lineup. Go. They've got Green. Bill Barton is out there with Monte Morris. Then there's Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the center locking down the middle. And for New York, Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. And it's Burks in at the point. The jump hook. Gordon with the defensive effort. And so it's Barton bringing it up for the Denver Nuggets. Morris with the ball. Robinson picks him up. Morris gets to Green. Here's Jokic. Good, and it's Green he picking up the Jokic. assist. Jokic has got the game going with his first points of the game for the Nuggets. Morris against Burks. Handle a screen on Morris. Trying to get open is Randall, and it's blocked by Gordon. Pass to Gordon. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley oop. Not Two to be. Good point the defense. Two minutes. The 17-footer. Randall with the bucket. Well, the effectiveness of Julius Randall, wherever he is on the floor, the mid-range, one of those tools in the toolbox. And, Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that yes. roster are a good match for the yes. system. Well, terrific quickness. Four, the first two. of Alec Burks looking strong inside. Morris passes to Jokic. Over Robinson. Jokic, no good. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. You know, Greg, it is amazing the total effect Jokic has on the game. And he's usually top five in triple doubles now. He's really worked on his defense. And the scary part is he's still only in his mid-20s. Fournier against Barton. Randall with a screen for Fournier. Into the lane. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal. It's going to be on Jokic. Well, just a little bit of burst, right? The quickness of Fournier gets him to the cup. New York shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. Boy, the game of basketball has exploded in Europe. And in one country in particular, France. Evan Fournier has been a fixture on the French national team, and he has got some incredible teammates. Catching up on the changes for New York, Merlin's Noel checks in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall, and Derrick Rose is subbed in for Alec Burks. Good on both. You know, there's an unpredictability about what Evan Fournier does that keeps defenders guessing. This guy is outstanding at using that to his advantage. All right, fans, get on your feet. Make some noise for T-shirt time. Your Knicks City Dancers. Oh, and you'll quickly, he's checked in for the Knicks. City Dancers, make some noise. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Compasso, the pass to Rivers. Green with a screen on quickly. Rivers can't get it to go. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Rose with the ball. Now bowl defending. And Toppin throws it down. No one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. Pass to Green. Here's Dozier. Over Barrett. 
R.J. Barrett has the kind of physical abilities to contest shots, and he is aggressive on the defensive end right now. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Knicks lead by six. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Well, an incredible lead for Julius Randle shooting the ball. Breaks down what's made the difference for him. It's really just all about um, just me getting into my shot quick. Wow, so interesting, isn't it, to hear that focal point for his shooting. And people often focus on the windup or the release, but it all starts with that foundation in the lower body. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So on the floor for Denver, we've got Aaron Gordon. Jokic is out there with Green, and it's Rivers. And it's Campazzo in at the point guard position. The Nuggets trail by four. This is it to Campazzo. Jokic with his screen on Rose. Now, here's Jokic. Pass to Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Shoots from 14. It's tipped. Boy, impressive defense from top and right on the pipe. Send it back. Gordon against Barrett to the left side wing. And the call up against Jokic. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. It, maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Taj Gibson's checked in for Choppin. Evan Fournier comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Burks in for Quickly. And then for Denver. Jeff Green is checked in for Jermichael Green. Martin comes in for Austin Rivers. Dan Morris subbed in for Composite. Jeff Green. And one thing That's that separates Randall from other guys, his size. That spin Julius move. He can do it off the drive, Ryan. in the post, Two shots. now going either direction. Shooting two. First one falls for. And whirling around the floor, uh, Greg, is there anyone Randall reminds you of? I mean, I mean, they're different players, but Akeem Olajuwon had an unbelievable spin move. Takes a lot of body control, especially for taller guys. But when you do it well, man, it is tough to stop. And that's good as he hits both of the shots. Hey, Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun, so I'd have to probably say my UNLV team, but we had some great teams with the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. To get open is Gibson. Randall no good. For the New York Knicks, they come in off the loss to the Bulls. Morris against Rose. Here's Jokic. Randall grabs the board. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Randall a screen on Barton. There's the drive. Burks can't get it to go. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Only given up two points this quarter. They kick it out to Green. Connects from three-point range. Green. Green's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. 30 seconds left in the first half of the game. Rose against Morris. Rose goes in. An easy two points on the layup. 
And that is one of Derrick Rose's signature moves. May not be as fast as he once was, but boy, that explosive first step remains. Rose against Morris. Barton sets a screen for Morris, and the pass to Jokic makes it off the glass. Jokic has got four this quarter. Plays a rugged game down low. Jokic's toughness adds character to the identity of this team. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Knicks out front, they lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. Kenny, what games did you get amped up for during the regular season? Any team that Shaq was on because I know we cook him and I could go down the lane and dunk on him three or four times in one game. Uh, Kenny, wake up, you're dreaming. Stop it. You know I squat your shot through all the way back to Queens. Stop it. Now turning to our featured game here tonight, the New York Knicks. They're in a close one. This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individual standouts, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Hart. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Here's Morris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Alec Burks is out there with Evan Fournier, and it's Robinson. And it's the fifth spot, manning the middle. That's the five for New York right now. Yeah, good job to take it right at the line. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And so he makes both from the line. The Knicks with the lead. Up top, Burks, covered by Morris. Randall down low, working on Green. That one drops for him. Randall's got six. Randall has got excellent handles, so you have to respect him off the triple drive. And last year, Randall averaged double digits on the glass. Right. He was especially effective on the defensive glass. In fact, Randall has been much more engaged defensively. His improvements on offense overshadowed that a bit, but his improvement defensively is real, guys. And the basket by Gordon. Well, at six foot nine, great athlete, Aaron Gordon can be a problem on the glass. Fournier against Barton. Fournier's shot is off. Nugget shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Gordon, the pass to Morris. Can't connect from short range. 149 left to play in the third. Pass to Burks. Back to Barrett. Six to shoot. Back to Burks. Fires for three, and they recover it. 
And Fournier kicks to Barrett. Goes back up. Doesn't go for him. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Shot by Gordon, wide open. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Boy, as slow a start as you can have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Passes it to Burks. Some nice passing by New York here. Morris against Fournier. Over Morris. And the shot is long. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Robinson dishes to Randall. And shot off. Great D that time from Green. Gordon, the pass to Green. Morris against Barrett. The kick out to Barton. Jokic with a screen on Fournier. Outside Gordon. Trying to find Jokic. Gets it to him. The Nuggets with another miss. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Knicks lead by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Come on, man. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Hole is out there with Green. Then there's Austin Rivers. And it's Campazzo in at the one. Noel sets a screen for Rose. Quickly with a wide open look. They get the rebound. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the Denver Nuggets get called for the foul. Boy, and there's an energy about Nerlens Noel. And if he's being this assertive, the defense has got to be uneasy. The first free throw is good. Free throws good from Noel. And you know, guys, listen, Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. Takes it inside. Outside green. Rivers against quickly. It's not going to go for him. The Knicks leading by three. Here's Barrett. Great T that time from Green. To tie it up. Toppin pulls it in. And for the Knicks, they're shooting just 28%. They're offensively out of whack and out of step with each other at this point. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Gozier passes to Composite. Here's Dozier. He's covered by Noel. And the rejection by Noel. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. The Knicks have gone all through to start the fourth quarter. Now, oh, here's quickly. Not a lot of room. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Stolen by quickly. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And Toppin throws it down. Chemistry Toppin has with his teammates to get up over the rim and finish it with authority, Obi. The Nuggets trail by five. 
We've got 113 left to play in the final quarter. Green kicks to Dozier. It's blocked. And here's Rose. Feeds the Barrett. Rose dishes the Barrett. Pass to Quickly. There's 47 seconds left in the game. Lock at six. Driving the lane. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the back. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And you group in for the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Nerland's Noel. Ando comes in for Toppin. Evan Fournier's checked in for Quickly. And Alec Burks subbed in for Rose. Barton finds Green. The Nuggets moving the ball around. To the middle. Here's Jokic. It falls. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And you better hammer Jokic to get him off on his shot. The Serbian is a solid seven-footer and laser focused. So they foul intentionally. Jeff Green. That's his second personal. Second team foul. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Jeff Green. That's his third personal. Third team foul. Julius Randle. At the line, two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Well, Julius Randle has made it clear he has big aspirations as a player. And what you love is he's going to invest the time to make his game all that much more dangerous. And here are the Nuggets now. They trail by six. Inside, Jokic. It doesn't go for him. And an intentional foul right there. Nikola Jokic. That's his third personal. Fourth team foul. Mitchell Robinson at the line, two shots. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall, trying to focus now on the second. Well, I think the team found a steal in a second round pick back in 2018. Mitchell Robinson, big time athlete, big time shot blocker, and I believe he has the work ethic to turn him into an offensive force. Nikola Jokic, that's his fourth personal, fifth team foul. Julius Randle at the line. That's the first, that makes it a seven point lead. So it gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're behind by eight. 23 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I think we might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Rivers can't get it to go. New York with the ball. Now, here's quickly. So it's New York picking up the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came. David, thank you as a...